Magnificat is a song of joy. It's a song of praise and thanksgiving to God who's been faithful to His people. He promised to save them, and He did. That promise was fulfilled on the first Christmas day when the Savior Jesus Christ was born to save us. And so Mary, representing the entire humanity, expressed her song of praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. The best way, therefore, to celebrate Christmas is to sing with Mary, to sing the song of praise and gratitude to the Lord. <clears throat> Actually, even today, we always celebrate Christmas with songs. Wherever you go in the world, you'll find that Christmas celebration is never complete without songs. That is why the Semer Chan is very famous. He would start singing, you know, Christmas carols as early as September in the Philippines. Believe it or not, we have the longest Christmas celebration in the world. By the way, what is your favorite Christmas song? Do you have one? Well, I have one. You're, you're all I want for Christmas? <laughs> Well, my, my favorite Christmas song is Mary's Boy Child. Mary's Boy Child. And it goes like this. Long time ago in Bethlehem So the Holy Bible say Mary's Boy Child, Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, and the king's born today. And man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Love this Christmas song a lot. Thank you. Please attend my attend my next concert. <laughs> so I love this Christmas carol a lot because it gives us the theology of Christmas. This song doesn't just talk about Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. It doesn't just talk about mommy kissing Santa Claus. It doesn't just talk about thank you, thank you, babarat ninyo. It doesn't just talk about those nonsense. Rather, it gives us the ultimate reason why we have Christmas. And that is, man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. And so as we celebrate Christmas, let us thank the Lord, not only for the Christmas gifts, you know, the material Christmas gifts, let us thank the Lord not only for the material blessings, thank the Lord not only for the Christmas bonus that you receive this year, thank the Lord not only for the food or the new clothes or the new toys that you receive from your parents. Rather, thank the Lord for the greatest gift ever. The greatest gift is not under the tree. The greatest gift is a person. The greatest gift is Jesus. So as we celebrate Christmas, we thank God the Father for sending us Jesus Christ. We thank God for the gift of salvation. We thank God for the gift of eternal life and man will live forevermore